is Stephanie Manley, and I want to show you how to roast chicken leg quarters. They're wonderful, they're inexpensive, and they taste really, really good. So I have basically cleaned out my refrigerator, and now I'm going to roast these leg quarters. Now I'm putting in radishes in here. Now maybe you haven't cooked radishes before, but you know what? They taste fantastic. They taste like radishes, but cooked. And they are browned and wonderful. And now I'm also putting in here some baby carrots that I recently got from the farmer's market. I'm not going to peel these. They're nice and tiny and they'll be just fine. And then I'm going to cut up about a pound of small red potatoes. I'm going to cut them into bite-sized pieces and go ahead and toss them in here. What am I going to do next? And I'm going to add a massive quantity of garlic to this because I want to prevent all the vampires I can from stopping at my house. Then I'm going to chop up some shallots. Now, if you don't have shallots, onions work really, really well too. Now, if I was using onions, I would do those in a slightly larger dice. I love the way onions turn when they get all nice and roasted. Then I'm going to pour in enough oil to kind of cover everything up. Then I'm going to add a sprig of rosemary. This is optional. Salt and pepper. We're just going to give this a nice stir. And then I'm going to take a couple of lemons. I'm first going to zest those, and then I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to juice them, and I'm going to put both of the halves of lemon into this mixture. I just love the way lemon brings out all sorts of flavors. Now I'm going to put these into a baking dish. Preheat your oven to about 425 degrees, and we're going to bake these. The larger the dish, the better this is because it gives the chance for all the vegetables to become roasted nice and brown. But the first step for this, we really just want the veggies to kind of cook up. So we're going to put foil on here for the first 35 minutes or so. We're going to remove the foil. Then we're going to add our cut up chicken pieces. I always love to cut up leg quarters myself. It's really easy to do. And you can save a couple of pennies doing that. Who doesn't like to save money? Now I've just kind of put a little bit of butter over my chicken and salt and pepper to give it a little bit of flavor. Then I'm going to put this back into the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the chicken's done. How do you know when chicken's done? When you pierce it and the juices come out clear. There you go. There is some delicious roasted chicken thighs. So be sure to try this one out. And always be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe so you can see what's cooking next. Music